In this machine learning class, we will see the hierarchical clustering from fifth unit unsupervised learning. And uh, here we will see the hierarchical clustering definition, agglomerative clustering, divisive clustering, and these are two types of hierarchical clustering methods. After that, the dentogram of hierarchical clustering, and then the termination point based on D min and D max. And finally, we will see the outliers and noisy data. First, let us see the hierarchical structure. Hierarchical structures are nothing but the data which will be grouped into hierarchy or tree like structure. For example, in this fashion. Okay, and let us see one example for this a machine learning problem of organizing employees of university in different departments. Okay, so university is there and different departments are there. And now we need to arrange the employees based on the role of their employee. Okay, so in each department we know professor, assistant professor, supervisor, lab assistants are there. So in each department we are having professor, assistant professor, associate professor, okay, lab assistant, everything will be there. For the structure will be same for all the department, isn't it? So this creates a hierarchical structure of employee data and is to visualization and analysis. If we arrange the employees in this fashion, then it will be very easy to understand and very easily we can analyze the data also. And similarly, if the data that will come under hierarchical structure, we can use hierarchical clustering method to achieve the uh, analysis and data of hierarchical data. Okay, if the data is underlying hierarchical structure, then we can use hierarchical clustering method. There are two main approaches in hierarchical clustering. First one is agglomerative clustering and second one is divisive clustering. Uh, first one is agglomerative. Okay, agglomerative is a bottom-up technique. Okay, so that will start from here. All the individual data items will be taken initially and for every iteration, it will merge the data items and finally it construct the large cluster. Okay, so step one, all the data items will be individually present and in step two, two items will be merged together. Okay, so every iteration, the data items will be merged and finally we will get the, the complete full cluster. Okay, so this is agglomerative. Agglomerative is bottom-up clustering method. Right, and the opposite to agglomerative is divisive method. Okay, it starts from one cluster with all given objects and it will split iteratively from smaller clusters towards the smaller clusters. So, divisive clustering is here. So, it starts from um, the one single cluster with all the data and simultaneously, or every step, the um, cluster will be divided according to the relationship between the data okay so every iteration that will be splitted out until it reach all individual item as a single cluster right so this is divisive the agglomerative hierarchical clustering method so as we already seen that the agglomerative clustering is a bottom up strategy okay Bottom of strategy means it starts with each object from its own cluster. Okay, that is each individual data item will become a cluster. Okay, and then iteratively merges the cluster according to the similarity to the form of large cluster. So, based on the similarity of data, it will merge the data items and form a new cluster. Okay, this is first step, this is second step. Okay, and based on this similarity of this particular cluster and this cluster, it will form a new cluster. And next step is this one. So, I, iteratively, it will merge the data items based on the similarity and finally, we will get the large cluster. Right? And when it will get terminates, it terminates either when certain clustering condition reached. Okay, by the user based on the user's condition, or otherwise, all the data items will be merged into single cluster. 
So in any of these two point reached, then the algorithm will get terminated. Okay, so this is agglomerative hierarchical cluster. The next one is divisive hierarchical clustering method. As we already seen that the divisive method is top down strategy. Right here, the starting point is large cluster with all the data objects. Okay, very large cluster will be there with all the data points. And then it split recursively from smaller and smaller clusters. So, based on the similarity between the data, the similar data will be splitted out. Okay. This will be splitted separately. And again, this will be splitted separately. Okay. Likewise. Right. So, this is called as top down strategy. Initially, all the data points will be there in single cluster. And at the end, the smaller cluster which meets our condition, right? So, at the end of uh, iteration, it achieves when the objects in the final clusters are, number one, sufficiently homogeneous to each other. That is, all the data items inside the cluster are similar to each other. And the final cluster obtained only one object, okay? That is, only one object means we cannot divide further, isn't it? Uh, the user defined cluster condition is achieved. Okay. So, based on the user def, uh, user's condition reached, then the algorithm will get terminated. In both these cases, that is agglomerative or divisive, it is important to select the split point and merger point very carefully. Okay. If we failed this, then these are the problems will be occurred. The first one is the subsequent split or merger will use the result of the previous selector. That is previous iteration, isn't it? So based on the previous iteration only, the next result will be achieved. And the second one is there is no option to perform the object swapping between the cluster. Suppose once we uh, divide the cluster, then we cannot swap this object from this cluster to this cluster. So, object swapping is not allowed here. And third one, cannot rectify the decision made in previous steps. Once the step got completed, then we have to use only the result of this particular step. We cannot redo the previous step. Okay. So, these are the problems uh, for selecting, splitting and merging point. Hence, we need to select those things very carefully. Otherwise, uh, we will get the poor clustering quality. The next, let us see the dentogram. It is commonly used the tree structure representation of step-by-step -step creation of hierarchical clustering. Okay, so the tree will be generated step-by-step -step, like this. Okay, see if uh, um, it is agglomerative, then the clusters will be merged each other for each step. And if it is divisive, then the clusters will be split between each other iteratively okay to arrive the optimal clustering solution so this is the sample dentogram diagram with the four levels see is level 0 1 2 3 4 four levels so the level starts from 0 initial state right and uh, the objects are merged or split at each level to arrive the hierarchical clustering Okay, if it is agglomerative, this will start from here. If it is divisive, this will start from here. Right? And the measure of proximities between clusters is distance between them. That means uh, the closeness. Closeness between the cluster. How two clusters are close to each other. What is the distance between the cluster? For this, we can use the four standard methods. Okay, for this formula, we can use CI and CJ. CI means the cluster one, for example, this cluster, and CJ is this particular cluster, and it is having N um, I number of objects, and it is having J number of objects. Okay, now let us take one point PI, PI from CI. So, for example, PI, and this is PJ. We can take any point, right? Now, mean value is mi. 
For example, this may be the mean value, M minus. Okay, that is mean of this particular cluster. Now, the minimum distance, minimum distance D min uh, of C1 comma C2. So, the minimum distance is we can take the point from here, from first cluster and this point from second cluster. That is PI and this is PJ. What is the minimum distance between these two? So, PJ minus PI or PI minus PJ. Okay. This is determinant. So, the sign will get removed, isn't it? So, this is the minimum distance. And next one is maximum distance. Maximum distance means we can take this point and this point. So, what is the difference between these two points is the maximum distance, right? After that, mean distance. Mean distance means we can take the mean value of first cluster and mean value of second cluster and difference between these two is the mean distance, right? And average distance. Average distance means all the points from this cluster and all the points from this cluster, the difference. That is 1 by Ni minus Nj into summation of Pi belongs to Cj and Pj belongs to Cj, okay? So, Pi minus Pj, isn't it? So, all the points from one cluster and that is the distance between all the points from one cluster to another cluster. So, this is average distance. And next, let us see the termination point based on D mean. Okay. Uh, here, we can use the agglomerative clustering. That means the merging will be taken place only in the agglomerative clustering. That will be stopped once. The minimum distance between two clusters become less than the user-defined threshold. That is, in the agglomerative, what we are going to do? We are going to merge the two clusters, isn't it? So, when the merging will be stopped, the distance between the clusters should be less than user-defined threshold value, isn't it? User-defined threshold value. Then, the merging will get stopped. Okay? That is, when the algorithm uses minimum distance, that is D-min, to measure the distance between the cluster, then we can use the nearest neighbor clustering algorithm. Okay, that is KNN algorithm. And if the decision, <coughs> if the decision to stop the algorithm is based on user-defined limit on the D mean, then it is called as single linkage algorithm. Okay. And next one is termination based on Dmax. Suppose if the algorithm uses maximum distance, that is Dmax, to measure the distance between the cluster, then it refers furthest neighboring clustering algorithm. And if the decision to stop the algorithm is based on user-defined limit on Dmax, then this is called as complete linkage algorithm. That means, suppose if we want to um, split the uh, cluster based on D min, then we can use nearest neighbor algorithm. If we want to split the cluster based on D max, then we can use the farthest neighboring algorithm. Right? And next to the outliers and noisy data. Here, the minimum and maximum measures provide two extreme options to measure the distance between clusters. Okay? That means See here, we are having two clusters and this point gives the minimum distance and this point gives the maximum distance. That is D min and D mass, isn't it? So, that prone to the outliers and noisy data. And uh, the use of mean and average distance, the use of mean and average distance helps to avoid the problems and provides more consistent result. Right. So, suppose if we use the extreme points, that is minimum point and maximum point, that will be affected by outliers and noisy data. Instead of that, we can use the mean point or average point to measure the distance between two clusters. Then, uh, the outliers cannot influence in the clustering. But so far, we have seen the hierarchical clustering from 5th unit unsupervised learning and in this class we have seen 
the definition of hierarchical clustering and the two types of clustering methodology that is agglomerative and diffusive clustering. After that, we have seen the dendrogram of hierarchical clustering. Then the termination point based on D min and D max, that is distance between two clusters, that is minimum distance and this is the maximum distance, isn't it? After that, the outliers and noisy data. And in the next class, we will see another important topic from 5th unit. Thank you.